I suppose the big question is now, how does Rishi Sunak make up his polling deficit with members? By presenting his economic plan to tackle inflation, grow the economy and get taxes down, he is the right person to get us through what are going to be difficult and turbulent economic times with the global inflation crisis. I believe that uh, he can convince the membership that he's the person who's most likely to be able to win us a general election. It's going to be a bit of an uphill struggle. The Conservative Party has lost some credibility on the economy in recent years. Uh, Ipsos Mori, the pollsters, uh, found that in March this year, the Labour Party overtook the Conservative Party for trust on tax. Is that the, chan- is that the former Chancellor's fault? I think... The, um, the difficulties in the polls for the government over the past few months, I'm afraid, were associated with the, you know, the traumatic events leading up to Boris Johnson's resignation. I mean, they, they've been damaging for, for all of us, for cons- the Conservative government and Conservative MPs. And that will be a big task for the winner of this contest to rebuild that trust. But Rishi Sunak has showed during the pandemic that he can act fast at a time of crisis within a matter of days from the seriousness of the COVID outbreak being obvious. Money was arriving in people's bank accounts under the furlough scheme, saving 11 million jobs. So I think Rishi has shown that he has the competence and the experience to regain trust and confidence in the Conservative government. I suppose some people might ask, How has Rishi Sunak in the last few months found £37 billion extra spending to alleviate cost of living pressures? No doubt welcome for many, many people. Why why can he find £37 billion for extra spending, but finding no money at all for tax cuts? He has... He has reduced some taxes over recent months as part of our response to the inflation crisis. That includes a cut in fuel duty, which is which is the biggest for 20 years. It also includes raising the threshold at which people pay national insurance. So that's a cut in tax for millions of households. He is a tax cutting conservative. He just believes that we need, first of all, to deal with inflation, to grow the economy, to give us the headroom to reduce taxes without having to increase borrowing to do it. Suppose finally in this conversation, there has been some blue on blue over the last uh, two weeks or so. Is that going to increase now? How clean a campaign will we see across August? I really hope that we don't see negative tactics. I know that uh, Rishi wants to run a positive campaign about what he can do for the Conservative Party and for the country. Um, So I would certainly appeal to everyone involved in this campaign to focus on on the positives. We've got two very talented candidates. The membership can take a decision on on which is best without, without the need for negative campaigning. Being positive is what we should be about in this contest, and I know Rishi shares that view.